Hi again everybody and welcome to Greg the Gardener, the channel where I show you quick, simple and easy solutions to problems that you might find around your own garden. Now today my client asked me to mow this patch of lawn. Normally I always carry my lawn mower with me, but today I forgot it. So what can I do? Well, I'll show you what I can do and I'll be showing you by using the ultimate tool out of all my tools. This, in my opinion, is the ultimate tool that everyone should have in their garden. It's a whippersnipper or a weed whacker. Now this brand, Shindawa, is a professional brand and it's a really good one. I've had this one for about three years now and never had a problem with it. But you don't need to spend the big bucks. Any whippersnipper will do fine for this job. So, to get started, what I'm going to do is pick up all the rubbish that's on there, like our sticks and branches or whatever because when this whippersnipper is going it is really traveling and it will flick stuff around and smash windows so you might want to try and get rid of all the rocks as well bit of a gum tree Oop, that's got a virus in that I'll have to find that one later okay so I picked up all the big stuff that was lying around now it's time to get started now it's best to have a nice length of whippersnipper cord on the head of your whippersnipper It'll make the job a lot easier. The other most important thing to have is eye protection because when this thing is flicking things around, the last thing you want is something to go in your eye because you will lose it. So I've got my cheap $1 barley pair and also some ear protection because these things are noisy. The first thing I'm going to do is do the edging. So along the tiles here, along the fence and along the garden edge, I'll whip a snip and this will make it look extra nice and trimmed. Look out for the wildlife though. Now in my opinion, if you don't do the edges, if you're going to mow the lawn, you might as well not mow the lawn at all. It really does make that big a difference. You don't want to cut your grass too short because the shorter your grass, even though it might look nicer, that allows seeds of weeds to get in there and start spreading and infesting your lawn. So I like to try and keep my lawn you know, a good inch, at least, high, uh, even more. Especially in the summer months, it's best to keep it a bit longer. In the winter months, you can cut it a bit shorter. So the best way I find is to hold it close onto my hip and then just swivel like this. And then you start taking tiny steps forward. sweeping these pavers, the whippersnipper doubles as a broom. Right, well that's done. Have a look. Nice, neat, clean finish. Now I'm not going to kid you, it does take a little bit of practice, but it is worth it. And using the whippersnipper is a simple solution. It will save you buying a mower or getting somebody in to do it. And you can use the whippersnipper in plenty of other applications. But I'll be showing you that later on in other videos. Well, there's still plenty of other work I need to do for her, so I better get to it. But thanks for watching, and remember, your garden is your best friend. So get out and enjoy it. I'm Greg the Gardener.